Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and as always for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content and uh, just a big shout out to everyone for all the kind of comments that we've had over the last week or so. Um, I've not had the time to kind of go back and reply to all of them. I will do in time but um, one of the things that we did pick up on from those comments was that you kind of like to see a lot more meta teams but with some maybe different options around those so today we're kicking off with Zashin here is the team as always there will be a poker paste down below and at the end of the episode we'll throw up the rental code for this team if you'd like to try it out for yourself so we've got a few things that we haven't really played around with in the meta so far and I'm pretty excited to kind of play them today we got the Moltres I do feel like it is a very good Pokemon obviously gives you that flying and dark type which is nice uh, helps against opposing Shadowrex Shadow Rally Calyrex uh, in particular really well. Um, and then we've got the Landorus, which offers Intimidate. Obviously a really good tech against things like Zacian. It's Regieleki for good damage. We know the drill with, with Landorus and Incineroar is well going to be pegged on there. Uh, we've got Zacian. We're playing with uh, Play Rough, which seems to be the more kind of predominant, like popular option of a Sacred Sword at the minute. Um, so we're trying that out today. We've got a Moongus in there. Gives us a little bit of uh, an option under Trick room if we need it helps us kind of shut things down with clear smog in particular things like Xerneas and then we've got Jellison to round off that firewater grass call with the Incineroar and Amoongus and offers us a way of speed control with trick room either to reverse it or set it up if we want and uh, Jellison a really nice Pokemon in general quite good against something like Zashian has Will-O-Wisp on there sap strength uh, and can really be a bit of a pain to deal with if uh, you haven't got the right text to do so and also with water absorb as well it gives us a nice option uh, to bring in alongside the Amoongus against Kyogre. So all in all, there is the team. What we're going to do is jump into our first match now and like I say, pilot the team, give you guys an idea of how the team runs and then we'll finish up with the rental card. So we'll be right back into game one. First up today, we have a Kyogre, Dragonite, Rotom Heat, Rillaboom, Stack Attacker and Whimsicott. So lots going on here. You can see the restricted is going to be the Kyogre there, the main threat to us. Uh, one of the big things that we want to get rid of. Obviously supported by the Whimsicott with that Tailwind, which is going to support it really well. Got to watch out for things like Fake Tears. It can kind of come with that pair up with that quite nicely um, and just power that water spout up even further than it already is in the rain and um, then you've got a trick room mod that we do need to be a bit wary of obviously the stack attacker there can turn the tide put the trick room into effect and you can't discount the fact that we may see trick room on whimsicott as well it could be an option on this team you know it is quite middling speed sort of pokemon but again they can all perform well under the right circumstances under a trick room so let's see how are we gonna approach this i mean jellison's really great here for us i mean amoongus is very good as well um in respect we just if we lead with amoongus we'd need to watch out predominantly for something like the dragonite with dual wing beats which could be a little bit problematic so uh, i think what we'll do is we'll lead amoongus um and i mean we could go moltres to be honest moltres is pretty good here we do need to be careful around the whimsicott um Go Zashian and I think Jellicent as well and we'll lock in with that. The only issue with this Amoongus is we don't have a Grass Stab on it. Now I felt like it was probably quite important for us to have something like Clear Smog. Um, it gives us just another option outside of Zashian to deal with things like Xerneas which are really predominant at the minute and kind of coming into their own. So for that reason was the reason why. It does leave us a little bit short against something like uh, Kyogre but again we can just put it to sleep. Now we are seeing... Uh, Dragonite and Whimsicott come out for my opponent which is a good lead from my opponent in all honesty now we need to protect Amoongus here we we probably could switch into Zashin right now um we could air slash or we could snarl or we could just fury wrath like the snarl's good for breaking the sash on the Whimsicott and lowering its special attack but that's about it uh, Fury Wrath will do the same, uh, but we'll get better damage onto the Dragonite. It's likely, though, that my opponent probably goes Tailwind here anyway with the Whimsicott just to get that set up. But we want to preserve Amoongus for later on in this match if we can. Uh, and it feels like a good time to get Zashin in because if a Dual Wing comes out into that slot, you now Zashin going to be able to take that pretty well. Not really worried about what the Whimsicott can throw at us. Um, and we are just seeing a helping hand from the Wimmy. So let's see where this Dragonite's going to go. Is it going to be able to move? Because that's the thing, you know, with the flinch chance here, we can 
pretty much get a free turn. They do get the dual wing beat. It is a critical, uh, a helping hand boosted, so it does do a bit more damage. Um, but and we're seeing the life orb. Okay, so we can go for a sub. It's dangerous doing that in front of the whimsicott because there is the likelihood that they could have something like encore. But you've already got to start thinking about what set they've got. They've got helping hand. We know they've got tailwind. They've got Moonblast, so have they got Protector Encore? So that's that's the, that's the way up there. Now we could just go for a Behemoth Blade into. I think we, I think we just get rid of the Whimsicott because then we can stall out the rain pretty easily, um, and just go for another Fury Wrath into the Dragonite. We actually outspeed the Wimmy, so they're actually attacking this turn, which is kind of interesting. So no help in hand coming out here, uh, which is interesting because. Have they got Tailwind? Or are they like we expected in um, Team Preview? Have they got Trick Room? You know? Uh, regardless of that, anyway, we get the Fury Wrath off. Uh, Dragon Claw going to come out. And you can see the damage this... You know, that, like, that's the thing. Like, Dragonite isn't anything to kind of scoff at. Like, it's got a lot of power. And especially with the Life Orb kind of backing that up. It can do a lot of damage. Like, 50% to... Um, 50% to Moltres. Now the Wide Guard could come out and cause us a few issues and there's definitely Trick Room as well that we could see from uh, the Stack Attacker. But we do have the option now where we could go for a Substitute. Um, and then... <sighs> do we switch in now? Or do we just attack? I think we maybe... Hmm. Don't want to lose Zash in. But again, at this point, we're probably not in the worst spot where we could just go for... Um, Behemoth Blade, and then switch into Amoongus. And it puts us in not a bad spot. Because we still got Jellicent in the back as well, you know. We could have stayed in went for Fury Wrath. It's likely we may even see, like, a Y God here from the Stack Attacker. I don't know. No, they're going to Trick Room. But that's kind of fine, because the thing is, like, the Dragonite goes down, they bring in Kyogre, we just put it to sleep, switch into Jellicent, and we're kind of alright from there because the next turn, what they're likely going to do is, with stacks, is go Jaraball into the Zashian slot, which is a perfect switch for Jellicent. So we're in a good spot to kind of close this one up, if it is the Kyogre, of course. So let's wait and see. It is the Ogre. I doubt it's got, I doubt it's got a Lumberry. What's the bets? What's the bets on the table? Long odds, I reckon. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we need to stall the, the. Yeah, I mean, we could put the we could put the stack attacker to sleep, but it's better to I think just put the Kyogre to sleep when we've got the chance. We'll probably see, we may even see a rock slide here just to try and get the flinch onto our Amoongus, which would then you know give them a turn to attack this uh, this this game. But yeah, we're like like we were seeing was the gyro ball there, um, which is fine. We'll get the spore off into the ogre. Uh, burr, burr, burr. And I guess a play now. What we could go for is is sap strength into sap strength into stacks and just go for the spore. And then the next time we got a full power water spout that we can we can go with. The only thing is obviously um, without the water spout, we're not on the greatest spot to. Um... Oh, it's got the safety goggles. Okay, very nice. And Jellicent does get the sap strength. It's interesting. It is a very heavy trick room centered team because the Kyogre is actually outspeeding a Jellicent. But um, we do get that sap strength off, which is nice because it lowers the. Um, you know, we can burn. We can burn the stack attacker now. And I think, to be honest, the Kyogre is going to struggle to. To knock out the Jellicent. I'm just thinking whether or not we need to just attack here or if we... Yeah, so they get the Rock Slide off again. I'm doing good damage. We get the clear smog into the Kyogre. It's just a bit of chip, you know. Um, and knowing... The speed tiers now makes it so much easier for, for when we want to take advantage of the Trick... Uh, when the Trick Room ends, you know. Um... Because we can't really do anything with the Moongus on the field at the minute. We kind of need Zashian back onto the field. Um, can Sap Strength again. It's not going to give us a lot of health. But at the same time, it's probably going to restore our health to a good point. While we just stole this Trick Room out. We don't need to make any like rash 
rash decisions here, I don't think. What's this rock slide doing? <sighs> tickling, tickling. Kyogre's likely to wake up here as well, I think. And it may fire a nice beam off into the Amoongus, but that's kind of what we want to see. Oh, they have the thunder. Can we take this? I don't know if we can. Changes things. <sighs> Ooh, get caught out a little bit there. Get caught out. But I mean, the stack attack has not really a threat anymore, right? Dimensions turn back to normal. Um, let's get Zastrian onto the field. Because a play rough should, a play rough should get the Kyogre from this range. We could sub as well, just to kind of get around the rain. Um, but they're going to Origin Pulse for sure. I mean, the, the safest thing to do, right? The rain runs out this turn. But if we protect, we give my opponent a huge, huge chance to uh, to set the trick room up, you know, again, which is not ideal. Um, so what we could potentially do is play a rough, switch into Moltres, so we get the regenerator ability on Amoongus activated, because it's likely the Kyogre protects here, right? While the stack sets up the trick room. We may not see it. Yeah, that's exactly what we see. But with the rain ending the next turn, it's kind of all right. Um, the Gyro Ball is not going to do enough damage to Zashin. Uh, and we could even protect Zashin here and go for Snarl. Because I think you go Gyro Ball, probably Origin Pulse. So Snarl here would be would be pretty, pretty handy. Um, okay, protecting Snarl. Because we'll take an origin, we should take, well, we will take an origin pulse out of the rain. Now the rain's ended. It's just whether or not we see a stray thunder, which we should still take, but they may. Oh, they double up with rock slide. Okay. I'll come for the gyro ball. Want that flinch, I think. That's what they're after. Moltres takes it pretty well. Get that berserk ability boosted. So the snarl do a little bit more. Water spout. Are we going to be able, I don't know if we'll take this, you know. I don't know if we will. What do we do with the Assault Vest? Okay, so this Moltres is pretty tanky. Um, and no flinch, which is ideal. Get that nice snarl off, which is good. Um, yeah, and we're in a good we're in a good spot now where we can we can close this one up. Because I think at this point, yeah, we just go. Hmm. It's hard because you kind of want to really, you want to concentrate down a bit more onto the stack attacker here. Uh, but at the same time, the Kyogre is posing way more of a threat. So we can play rough, I think. Yeah, play rough and just switch into Amoongus. We're giving up our boost, but at, at least we're preserving Moltres, you know. Because that's the thing, we want to kind of preserve Moltres now if the Trick Room can, if we can stall out this Trick Room. Uh, so then we get that, that attack off. See the Gyro Ball. Yeah, it's nowhere near enough damage. It's nowhere near enough. And the water spout won't be enough to get the Zash in. No, not from this range. <clears throat> and they kind of have to rely on... They have to rely on rock slide flinches now. Because they can't go for the gyro ball. Because we've got the, the... Oh, no, they can go for the gyro ball. They can go for the gyro ball. This, this does make it a little bit trickier. It definitely does. Because we haven't got a way to attack it with Amoongus. So Stax is still a little bit of a pain to deal with. Two turns of Trick Room left. We can protect here. Um, and I guess... Well, we can just double protect. Double protect. This is... Like, my opponent's done really well to kind of get it to this, this point in the game. Uh, I thought it was going to be wrapped up a lot quicker than this. Obviously, the Stray Thunder did surprise me on the, the Ogre. Kind of more expecting like ice beam. Um, and I think we just leave it for we leave it for Moltres to come in now and just and just clean up. Uh will Behemoth Blade. Uh, we might take the gyro I doubt we take the gyro ball. Um No, we don't want to risk. We can't we can't risk. We just have to Let's go for a clear smog. It's not gonna do anything anything and the battle is cancelled okay i still think my opponent probably had a chance there you know let me know down in the chat what you think i still think they had a chance um if the gyro ball killed there um 
But then again, Moltres comes in and probably cleans up. So very good game to my opponent. Nice one for us to kick off with today and we'll jump straight into game number two. Next up, we've got another Kyogre team playing Kyogre, obviously, with the Incineroar, Tornadus, Landorus Incarnate, Serena and Regieleki. So a pretty standard looking um, kind of Tornogre team. Uh, with the Serena there, you've got obviously the Queenly Majesty ability kind of blocking any priority attacks from our end. Um, and the Serena inclusion makes it a little bit more difficult for for Jellicent on our end to kind of come in and disrupt. But again, I think we can we can utilize Jellicent pretty well and the Amoongus because that Trick Room mod, my opponent hasn't really got anything that's going to perform very well in Trick Room. Um... So it's just a question of what do we want to do? For, what do we want to go for? I mean, we can go for Zashian and Cinnaroar as a lead. We could go for Moltres and Cinnaroar as a lead. Um, because the fake out's quite nice pressure. Uh, they don't really have any physical threats, though, other than the Serena that the Intimidate is going to be useful against. Um, so it's a question of do we want to bring Intimidate to this match? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, but the fake out would give us room, of course. So I think we go Moltres for sure. Um, Moltres and we could go Jellicent to be honest. We could lead Jelly Among Us and then just go Zashin. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Because if they're going to toy with us on the idea of, of, of launching um, a Tailwind up turn one, then we can just threaten the Trick Room and kind of play off that. And if we get ourselves into a trick room, obviously you've got to watch out for Regieleki as a lead, which we are seeing here. Uh, but the thing is, we've got a nice switch into Amoongus in behind that, you know. Um, it's just which 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 target do you pick? Because we could just go for the air slash into Serena here. Or we could snarl. I think we air slash Serena and switch into Amoongus. Because with the assault vest, we should be we should take an attack from from Aleki. Unless it's like specs, and we see help in hand, which would be bad. But they may go after Jellicent as well, because they may be threatened with the uh, okay Electro Web. Uh, we accept that all day long. That's fine. Speed drop doesn't matter too much. It's funny that uh, the power weapon. Okay. <clears throat> Mungus takes that pretty well. I wonder if an air, uh, is an air slash. It depends. It depends if it's assault vest or not. Of course, you know. No. It's assault vest, one hundred percent. Now I think they have to go for. I think the electro web again. To be honest, they could triple axle now, which is a little bit more annoying. And they could triple axle into. Into into uh, into Moltres. Um, I think it's Ashin coming in. Yeah, I think I think what we'll do is switch into Zashu. Mm, do we? 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 I think we snarl and I think we protect with Amoongus. Because I think you're more more probably worried about getting rid of Amoongus than you are. Yeah, they're going to the Electro Web again to get round the redirection. Um, and obviously, they, we can't redirect like the Serena right now. But I mean, for later on in this game, it might be like the Amoongus is going to be a little bit more annoying to deal with. So you just got to hop Triple Axel into the Amoongus here. Yeah. And we get the snarl, which is useful because it does get that nice bit of chip onto Regieleki. Makes it a bit easier for us to uh, pivot into something like uh, Zash in here as well. Um, so I think we go Zash in. What are we bringing Jealous into here? Because that could be... Hmm... We could just let, I think what we could do is try and get rid of the Serena here and just pull into Zashin. Because I think they go Electro Web again, but they may not. They may go Volt Switch, 
to reset the drop on the on the Regileki, which would make sense, right? And I think you do concentrate down the Amoogus again. So we, t we should take this. Yep. And if they go triple Axel into the Zashian, that's fine. Kind of want them to do that. No, they go after the Moltres. They make the smarter play. And they get they get more than one hit. Okay. But this is still alright. This is still alright. Because we should still outspeed the Serena. Um, kind of want the Trick Room up, to be honest. But then again, I think we just bring in Amoongus here. Because I think the Jellison is going to be really important with our Trick Room mod at the end of this game. It's just getting rid of the uh, the Serena, which is the big problem at the minute. So we could even spore into the Regieleki slot, to be honest. Because are we minus? We were minus one, right? We're minus one. Let's just 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 check something here. Um, we've got plenty of time to do this. I just want to check my my speed stat on Zashin because I think it's important to. Uh, they will outspeed us, and they'll be able to get. They will outspeed us for sure. So we have to protect Amoongus here, and then go for the Behemoth Blade. I mean, we could go for the substitute here as well, but it's pretty wasteful, I think, because they're just they're gonna go for the triple axle into Amoongus. Yeah, and put us down to minus two. But the thing is, we want the Kyogre to come on the field uh, next to. Oof. Great. Not ideal. Yeah. And the Raja Lucky minus one makes it a bit easier for Jellison to kind of come in and get the trick room up. What we'd really want to see is Kyogre come in next, but I don't think we will. I think it will probably be Tornadus, I would imagine. If it is that, maybe Landorus. What is the Kyogre? So that's I that's ideal for us. Okay. So we can rage powder, switch in jelly. Um we could spore Kyogre and switch into jelly. It's probably the better option, to be honest. Just shut the Kyogre down. Because Jelly will be able to get in for free if they decide to go for the water spout or origin pulse. Um if they don't then they go Ice Beam into Amoongus, which we should take. Even a combination, whatever the Alecky's got. Um, we would hope. Unless it's got like Hyper Beam. And then we are maybe in a little bit of trouble, but we're, no, we're not seeing that. That's fine. Uh, Electro Web. Jellison takes a fair chunk of damage, but we might get that health back. We may get that health back. If they go Water Spout. No, they go Ice Beam. Okay. Like I say, we do take that. Okay, that's all right. Is everything everything going to sleep now? Uh, and I think we just trick room. Rage powder, trick room. Yeah. Because there is a chance that they could thunder Jellicent. We kind of don't want to really take that much damage. So let's see what they do. Because again, you've got to you've got to remember that, that the Aleki is minus one special attack, so you do want to reset that at some point. Thunderbolt coming out, okay, and that's that's super fine. And now we're in a good spot where we can either water spout. Um, we've got to watch out for that Kyogre waking up. Got to watch out for that Kyogre waking up. I mean, a water spout will get the Aleki, hundred percent. Where we could. Maybe just switch into Zash in here. Get the regenerator going. And water spout. We're not going to do a lot to the Kyogre, but the Kyogre is not going to go for Origin Pulse. It's going to Ice Beam. 100%. Needs to get rid of the Amoongus here. The Rain Boost as well. Um, Jellicent should should be able to get the uh, the Aleki from this range. Okay, Aleki protecting. Just fine. Does the Ogre wake up? 
We got a bit of damage into the Kyogre, which is always good. Always useful. Not going to be full power, of course, because we have taken a bit of damage already. Um, but that chip's always useful. And there's the Ice Beam, yeah. So, it's alright. Now we need, do need to watch out for Thunder from the Kyogre, but I think it would have went for it by now if we if, if if it had had it, you know. I think we now switch back into Amoongus, and um, we just Water Spout again, Water Spout again, yeah. Because the Kyogre is in that conundrum now where it has to go Origin Pulse or Water Spout to deal with the Zashian, um, otherwise it kind of gets knocked out. So the, there is that kind of question mark over what my opponent does here. Do they? Do they go for the Origin Pulse or Water Spout, you know? We get the Water Spout off. Or do they predict the Amoongus coming back in? Because it's it makes a lot of sense for us to do that. Um, they got Ice Beam again, nice. But into the, the Jellicent this time, okay. Well, no! We're frozen, frozen. That's not what we like to see. That is really not what we like to see. Ugh, come on. Uh, 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 this is bad. 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 Will it will it was on Thor? I don't think it will. <clears throat> How many turns of Trick Room have we got left? They have to taunt. I mean, they have to taunt Amoongus, right? I think they attack though. I think they attack. They probably Hurricane. Do they Hurricane Amoongus? But if they do, they could get the threat of putting to sleep. Putting to sleep. Let's try and see if a will o wisp will thaw us. I don't think it will. I don't think it will, but we'll try. We get the spore off into the tornado, so which is super useful. Stop that tailwind. So we need to be very yeah, it doesn't thaw us, which is not ideal. Scald. Are they gonna? They're not gonna thaw us though. Thinking that the Zashian's gonna come back in. Okay. Ah, the Jellicent. The Jellicent uh, freeze is horrendous, horrendous on us. In all honesty, uh, we need to put the Kyogre to sleep if we can, and hope that we can wake up and get a water spout off. We really do. Um, Kyogre protecting. Come on, Jelly Thor. Is it worth switching in Zashin here? Is it worth switching in Zashin? It's probably not. I think we probably put the Kyogre to sleep. Uh, they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna ice beam though. They're gonna ice beam, aren't they? Try and water spout. Let's try and water spout. They haven't got the hurricanes. Okay, tornado wakes up. Hurricanes connect as well. Of course it does. This is a scald though. That's that's massive for us because that will thaw us. Give us our health back. Oh! <laughs> does it thaw us though? Because of the. Does it thaw us? It doesn't thaw us. Come on. Are you actually kidding? Are you actually kidding? Because a water absorber dodges that whole thing. There's a broken mechanic for you. Game Freak, put it on your list for Gen 9. On that long, long list of things to uh, fix. <sighs> Have they got Heat Wave? They've got or Well, they've got Scald. They got Scald. I think we have to protect and then try and Thor and Trick Room. Because they're going to Tailwind. They're going to Tailwind and Scald. Yeah. We need to Thaw out. We need to Thaw out right now. We need to Thaw out. Like, this, this, this is where we Thaw out. The Scald in us again. Are they predicting, like... Okay. Are they predicting, like, Ally Switch? I don't know. Okay, well, all we can do is go for a play rough and hope that we can take it. Um, which we may be able to do. Let's try and set the trick room up. We may as well. Could go for a double protect. The Thor's kind of killed us this game. 
in all honesty. And the fact that they keep hitting hurricanes out of the rain, like relentlessly. Scald, are we going to be able to take it? No. No, we are not. Can we thaw? We thawed out the turn when it didn't matter. When it didn't matter. <clears throat> okay, well, we need some hurricane misses. Let's get that sap strength onto the tornado to try and get some health back. Because they're just going to hurricane ice beam us. A hurricane does quite a bit of damage, to be honest. Okay, they're going to protect. Stall this trick room out. And double, 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 double. They're going to taunt us, I think, this next turn. They're going to taunt. They're going to taunt us. 100% taunting. Taunt, taunt, bait. But we do have the mental herb, so we could have potentially got around that. They're not taunting us. They're going for the hurricane, but there's a chance that they miss. Ice beam. How much is this doing? That's not a lot. That's not a lot. But we're likely to run out of... And they hit again. Are you joking? Are you actually kidding? Are you actually kidding? We've had really no luck this game. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. They're probably going to protect uh, Tornadus and go Ice Beam, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Can we get the Sap Strength into the Kyogre? Yep. Okay, well, we guess right. We have not had the best of rolls this game. How much is this going to heal? Kyogre, please have big attack. Okay, it's not bad. We can sap strength the next turn. It's alright. Great. Yep. And the freeze. Okay. I mean, at what point do you say, should we just give up? <laughs> really? Should we just should we just give up? Because I mean the game is has obviously decided no matter what we do, no matter what play we make, in an optimal light, it doesn't matter because the game decides that you are gonna lose and that is how it's gonna go down. And I feel really kinda hard done by here. Another hurricane out of the rain hitting. There we go. Three for three for my opponent. Good game, my friend. And this isn't anything directed directly at my opponent because they obviously don't have any control over it. But you know, you just got to laugh at the game sometimes, the in-game mechanics. There we go. What can we do? Anyway, good game to my opponent. Um, they made the right plays at the right time. We got really unfortunate there, which is a bit of a shame because I think the team in general performs really well. You can see that really good trick room mode between the Amoongus and the Jellison playing really well next to something like Zashin. Um, and we got to see the Moltres as well, which is always good. So we'll hop over now. We'll get that rental code for you all, friends, and uh, we'll wrap up today's episode. Right, friends, here is the rental code for today's team. I hope if you try it out, you enjoy it. The only thing that we didn't really get to see too much of today was we our two Intimidators in Incineroar and Landorus. And that's just because of the matchups that we had. Two Kyogre teams, um, they're not the most optimal picks for those matches, but you can see the other four kind of make up a really nice core to deal with. With those common Kyogre teams obviously in the second game it was all about getting rid of the Serena then it opens the door for us to kind of get the Jellicent in the trick room up and then go from there but we had far too many turns of uh, being frozen which made it a little bit tricky never mind and uh, if you try the team out please let me know down below in the comment section I will make a concerted effort this week to get back to each and every one of you and um, thank you so much for tuning in hope you've enjoyed today's episode we'll be back later in the week uh, with more VGC series 10 content we're going to be streaming tomorrow night Tuesday night we're going to continue our Emerald Kaizo Nuzlocke will be on our fourth attempt, so hopefully we can get a bit further than we did last time. Um, and then Thursday we'll be doing Series 10. We'll have a Series 10 stream on Thursday evening, so if you're around on Thursday, 8pm, uh, it'll be nice to see you. We'll be playing a team I haven't decided on yet, so it'll be a bit of a surprise, but keep an eye out for the thumbnail. That'll probably give a lot away. And then Friday we'll be back with our Emerald emerald kaiser stream to see if we can push on get further and uh have a good crack at that nuzlocke that we're currently attempting at the minute which is a lot of fun so thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day make sure you take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else and i'll catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon so until then take care and bye bye